Hello everyone, this is George Tsurkas and it is my pleasure to present to you a video abstract for the paper Pairs of Rational Triangles with Equal Symmetric Invariants by Dorin Andrika and myself. We were inspired by the following result of Hirakawa and Matsumura. Up to similitude, there is a unique pair consisting of a rational right triangle and a rational isosceles triangle which have the same perimeter and the same area. The authors also found the side lengths of the triangles in question. Now, while restricting our, ourselves to the same classes of rational triangles, we wanted to put the problem into more general geometric context. And this is when we started thinking about the symmetric invariance of triangles. Given a triangle, its symmetric invariants are the semi-perimeter, the in-radius, and the circumradius. We remarked that there are infinitely many triangles with rational sides which have two of these invariants equal, even though the triangles are not similar. And for two triangles, having the same perimeter and the same area is equivalent to having the same semi-perimeter and the same in-radius. As in the work of Hirakawa and Matsumura, we will search for pairs of rational triangles consisting of a right triangle and an isosceles triangle, which have two corresponding invariants equal. In this work, we determine all pairs up to similitude consisting of such triangles, uh, which have two corresponding symmetric invariants equal. Now suppose we have a pair of such triangles. We can show that the side lengths of the triangles can be parametrized by two such expressions. Of course, one of these expressions is scaled because we are looking for triangles up to scaling. And the numbers that appear here are positive rational numbers. Now the symmetric invariants can be expressed in terms of the sides of the triangle. If one starts to search for a pair of such triangles which have the same semi-perimeter and the same in-radius, uh, one can show that a pair of such triangles uh, gives rise to a rational point on a hyperelliptic curve of genus 2. Uh, and Hirakawa and Matsumura determined all points on that specific uh, hyperelliptic curve of genus 2 using a theorem of Chabotier and Coleman. Now, that was the first case. In the second case, we are looking for triangles which have, which have the same in radius and the same circum radius. And we show that a putative pair of such triangles would give, would give rise to a rational point on the following hyperelliptic curve. This is a hyperelliptic curve of genus 3, and it covers uh, the following rank 0 elliptic curve. Now, by first determining the rational points on the elliptic curve, we determine all the rational points on the hyperelliptic curve, and we can show that none of the points that this hyperelliptic curve have correspond to, to a non-degenerate triangle. And in the third and the last case, we are looking for pairs of such triangles which have the same semi-perimeter and the same circumradius. A putative pair consisting of such triangles gives rise to a rational point on the following hyperelliptic curve. This is a hyperelliptic curve of genus 3 and uh, which, has, uh, which has rank 1 whose Jacobian has rank one. Uh, and we determine the set of all rational points on this hyperelliptic curve by applying the method elliptic curve Shabati due to Bruin. We remark that we found the set of rational points on this curve C, and then we see that none of these points corresponds uh, to, to a non-degenerate triangle. The conclusion would be that up to similarity, there, there is a unique pair consisting of a rational right triangle 
and a rational isosceles triangle, having two corresponding symmetric invariants of equal length. And these are the two triangles that were found by, uh, by uh, the authors of the theorem presented on the first slide. Thank you very much for your attention.